Hey everyone, time to dive into a cool and cozy adventure game called Bernard. You might have missed the release a few weeks ago, but this might be just the kind of game you've been looking for. So should you spend your hard earned money on this tough looking little teddy bear? Stick around and let's find out together. Before we get into all the details, here's the stuff you just need to know. Bernard is a turn based cozy adventure game, so it will definitely appeal to any fans of turn based games out there. The turn-based style leans more towards strategy turn-based like you would find in games like Advanced Wars for instance. What makes Bernard really stand out is that the developer added a card battler mechanic into the mix. This makes the combat feel very dynamic and adds an extra layer of decision making that will affect the outcome of each fight you'll have. Ready to dive deeper? Let's break it down. So as first impressions go, Bernard starts out pretty strong introducing you to the main character and providing you some of the story. But it really grabbed my attention with the interesting combat dynamics and how you can control your main weapon, which is a bow, by the way. The pixel graphics look nice, crisp and fresh. And to be honest, after growing up during the NES and the SNES eras, pixel art games will always have a special place in my heart. Bernard starts throwing you into some combat pretty soon after the introduction, including some battles that seem pretty tough at first until you look around just a little bit better. But does it keep up the momentum? Let's move on. Now let's talk story and world building. Bernard's story starts off with a cutscene at the beginning of the game, which gives you some details about Bernard's father, Greyfur the Great. He, he left suddenly in the middle of the night and Bernard has set off to find him. Greyfur has left notes throughout the game world, giving you more bits and pieces of the story. It seems some of the animals and dwarves of the forest have starting to act very strange, and before long, they'll attack you as well. What's causing this strange behavior is up to you to find out by progressing through the game, of course. The overall story is not overly engaging and is not meant to be the main driver of the game. At least, that was my experience. The world in Bernard consists of diverse environments and biomes, each with its own set of unique enemies and challenges. This keeps the game pretty fresh. What I also found very entertaining were the dialogue lines of Bernard himself which were very funny and very witty. More than once, they left me with a nice chuckle. All right, on to the gameplay. The heart of any game, and Bernard is no exception. Officially being categorized as a turn-based adventure game, simply leaving it at that would be doing a great disservice to Bernard. The game is definitely turn-based, but combines this with some other game mechanics, which result in a very satisfying and interesting combination. This starts with the fact that you have to manually aim Bernard's bow during the fights. So while it's turn based, this brings a nice dynamic element into the mix. If you don't aim correctly and miss, well, there goes your turn. Luckily, your enemies can miss also, although they seem to be more accurate than I was. Next to aiming in the fights, Bernard also features a card and elemental system. You can have a finite number of cards and choose one or multiple, depending on how much orbs they cost, these cards have a lot of different abilities, ranging from bombs and traps, all the way to giving your arrows elemental effects, such as fire. Combining these elemental attributes also leads to interesting and sometimes powerful attacks, which can really help out in a tough fight. So picking the right cards to hold onto is essential for getting through some of the fights in one piece. In the beginning of the game, I did have a feeling I was getting cards which were not very useful, and would have liked to see more of the elemental cards to experiment some with the combinations. This does smooth out later into the game, so try not to let this phase you out too much. As mentioned, you will come across several biomes and each with its own unique enemies. These in turn also require you to adapt your playstyle play and card load loadout. Now something that is often overlooked in games is sound and music. The soundtrack in Bernard is very nice and I enjoyed listening to it while I was playing. It might even be described as a bit folksy at times. It fits the adventure vibe of the game very nicely and I think at certain points it even gave the game a bit of a cozy feeling, which was very relaxing. So now for the final verdict on Bernard. For any fans of turn-based games, this will be a fun and refreshing game to play. The story is not super deep, but in turn that makes it very easy to just pick up and play. Even if it has been a few days since your last session, you can just jump right back into the action. I really liked the card and elemental mechanics that were added to the traditional turn-based gameplay. 
It added some nice depth to the fights and allows you to try out a lot of different tactics as you progress. So if turn-based games are your thing, Bernard is definitely worth picking up. If you've enjoyed this review, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on more indie game reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.